Morning, welcome to today's show. Today we're going to build one of those uh, folding coat racks. You know, they're just a bunch of wood and they fold out when you're not using them. All right, so I have some cedar here, three quarter inch. I ripped them random, this is an inch and a half, this is three, this is two. I didn't think I needed to see, show you that because well, you probably know how to find random pieces of wood. Right, right now I'm going to cut them all at eight inches long. So let's do that. Show you what I set up here. There you see that I made a block. I measured eight inches from the block. That way your piece of wood doesn't jam when it hits your blade. Well, let's cut. Alright, we have some random pieces here, random widths, some random length, not no use wasting them. Let's pick a pattern. Okay, a little pattern going here. Yeah, that's about 16 inches. So these these ones here will flip up. These we'll have to use for something else. Okay. We have some three eighths dowel. I'm gonna put through there like that. <coughs> okay, we're gonna cut the top one 45 so you can get it down. So that, that'll be the top. I think now we have to cut the bottom at a different angle. We don't want it so much. It's going to come out of that. Let's figure that out. Okay, we're going to cut this end 60. Way it doesn't come out too far. Like that. Okay, you can see I put this clamp here because it's too close to my itty bitty fingers. So that should just work fine. Okay, 45, 60, 60 at the bottom. So then it comes out like that, just goes against the wall. Let's put them together. Just put them in a random order, just have a look. You don't even have to make them. No. Even you just make them how you want. Nothing to it. Now they come out like this. So I burnt out my router a little while ago. So I just put my router bait in my press drill. It's gonna work good. Let's try it. Well, so I wrapped the crap out of the end where the Rudder bit wouldn't fit. Oh, I'll just sand this off and make another one. All right, made a little jig here. Three eighths, so that's the middle of this board. And an inch and three quarters from the end for the ones that Inch and three quarters for the ones that pivot. Let's try. 
Let's do it. Perfect. Okay, for the end piece, I'm gonna put this board here. And then it, it'll give it a different depth. And then for the middle ones, I'll put the sticker one in so they're all staggered. See how they're staggered? They're staggered, the outside ones will be the same and then these three inside ones will be the same as well. There you go. Okay, put one in there. And then we'll just build it away. All right, so with the three quarter inch board, it doesn't work because angle here when it turns hits right here angle I'll probably just sand it down but you have to use one inch boards at least okay I'm gonna fix this up and we'll come back okay we fixed that little mistake now we're gonna give them all a little cold Danish oil before we put them together put them that way you just do it before you put it together it's better we're gonna do them all Oh, there they are, one coat of Danish oil. Now I'm gonna rough this up with some sandpaper so that the glue will stick in there better because it's a pretty tight fit. Okay, there it is. Just gonna keep moving these a little bit. Make sure there's no glue gets on there. Let it dry. There it is. So, there it's working out. You can see that it's working now. It's all done. Okay, set up a jig here. So it's an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. And let's drill the, for the screws. All right, so there's your, there's your folding coat rack. Okay, if you like today's show, subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you have a comment that'll help others, please leave it. Thanks for watching. Later.